You may have seen the rocket launchers, the compressed air rocket launchers. This is a similar idea, but with little cars. And what's, what's quite nice about this is um, just the addition of a little extra bit of plastic, an extra tube, makes the whole thing behave slightly differently. So my son and I decided to have a competition. And he built a racer, and, and I built a racer. Um, they're, a bit, they're a bit bashed up by now because we've raced them so many times um, because I was desperately trying to beat him. So we had lots and lots of reruns. And he built this car and it's got this um, thing on the front, this spoiler and this other thing at the back that's all not very aerodynamic, it's going to be rubbish. And of course I, I did something that was really aerodynamic and it's got a f nice fin for stability to keep it straight and a nose cone and all this sort of stuff. We put the cars on the launcher, we launched them and raced them off. Now, what was, was interesting about this for me um, was that I lost. Uh, I lost big time. Okay? It didn't make any difference how many times we raced. Um, you know, it wasn't just that mine you know, was a little bit further down the tube, a little bit further up the tube. Mine lost every time. Okay? So I'll just pump this up to show you how it works. Okay? So this is um, a, p a piece of uh, 22 millimeter copper pipe with a car tire valve at the end. Okay, so we pump some air into the, into the tube. Should do, and I've got my two cars, I open the valve and, okay. Okay, off they go, go flying along. They go really quite well, as you see. Okay, now, what's interesting is, if you do the rockets, as I have done many times, and you've only got one pipe, actually having a, a rocket that grips the pipe, pipe quite firmly is good, okay? It seems that, it seems that the rockets sometimes go further, not too firm, but, but pretty firm is good. With the dragsters, it's bad. I made mine really well, and it fits onto the pipe quite tightly. He did a rubbish job of his, uh, and it's very loose on the pipe. Now, unfortunately, because there's two pipes, what happens then is as soon as you open the tap, his starts moving. His, his gets all the advantage. And then by the time his has gone off the end, the thing is open, and mine is doing nothing. Okay? So, so it was a really nice bit of physics that I learned that day, thanks to my 12-year-old son.